This thing of referring to township schools as dysfunctional, as hopeless, all sorts of terms, it's no longer there. They are regarded as schools of excellence. And they've proved that. There were very organized schooling boycotts in Makanda in the 80s, and that's where the need arose for the Gandra Matrix School. So the community approached Gandra and said that because of the schooling boycotts, our children are not getting adequate, um, adequate teaching and adequate learning opportunities. We initially then tried to found um, a Saturday school, which wasn't enough in terms of just not enough teaching to make up the backlog. Um, and, that's, and that's kind of the origins of the, of, of the matric school. Of course, now it's changed even further because now it's not just about getting a matric certificate. Now it's about trying to get access to tertiary opportunities. And of course, the tertiary institution that's located here is Rhodes University. So now the big, the big challenge um, for local students is to, is to get access to the university. And, you know, we're very fortunate uh, in terms of this era to have uh, Professor Mabizela as the Vice Chancellor of the University because he took a decision to reposition uh, Rhodes University. Um, and to strengthen the ties between Rhodes and its community of Makanda. Now, we feel that we have a model in Makanda which we can share with, with other you know, sections of, 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 of the province so that we can improve the results. Um, and if we then take it down to households, um, it's not just about the young people in those households. It's also about the parents and other family members in those households. So what's going on in the households is crucial in terms of education and advancement. So, you know, it doesn't really matter from what perspective one looks at it. The key is that everybody has a role to play and everybody needs to work together to play that role. You know, Gadra can't operate on its own as, a, as, a, as an island. Gadra needs to be working with the other, with the other public schools. Um, the future of, Gra of Grahamstown of Makanda rests largely on, on its success in relation to education. So I think, you know, the best way to really ram that point home is to, is to really improve our performance as a city in relation to education and then publicize that success so that success generates more success. So in the next five years, um, we've got a very ambitious goal. And that is to get to a point where we can legitimately say that Makanda is the leading education city in the country and that the country recognizes it as such.